All right, good evening, everybody. Uh, uh, welcome to the Brook Road U Farm interest meeting. Uh, my name is Deron Chavis, and we're very excited to uh, chat with you all this evening uh, about uh, our new program. Um, first of all, uh, Happily Natural Day is a nonprofit organization based in the Richmond region. It's dedicated to public health, cultural awareness and social change. Uh, our work uh, manifests itself through transformation of the built environment using urban agriculture as a tool for social justice. Um, we currently manage about six uh, community spaces across the region and our uh, newest, uh, one of our newest spaces is the Brook Road Youth Farm. Um, I would like to give a chance for uh, my colleagues, Karantama, Pierce, and Luce to uh, introduce themselves. And then we'll talk a little bit about uh, the history of the space, uh, the program overall, and some of the logistics uh, as, it, uh, as it relates to uh, applying and um, et cetera. So pass it to Karantama. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I'm excited to be a part of this cohort for you all. Um, spots are filling up, but we've got room for everybody else. I'm looking forward to building and bridging. Pass it to Luce. Hi, everyone. My name is Luce. Um, I, I am going to be kind of running some communication and outreach type stuff uh, during the the whole program and I can't wait to get to know all of y'all um and yeah I this is gonna be this is really exciting we're just watching everything uh come together so uh just before we go into the program and the details about that just want to give you all a little bit of history of how uh, our organization ended up uh, with the development of the Brook Road Youth Farm Space uh for those who are not aware uh, we manage several community gardens across the city and orchards and et cetera. Um, as a result of that work, we often get inquiries uh, for the development of garden spaces. Um, some are great opportunities, some uh, not so much. Uh, but in the case of the Brook Road Youth Farm, uh, we were uh, uh, connected with the Ginner Park Presbyterian Church in uh, 2021, um, right around the time, you know, height of the pandemic, uh, the church was looking for an organization of color to uh, steward a vacant lot that they had in their possession. Um, it was really uh, interesting to us, you know, just to, you know, hear about a faith-based organization looking to uh, give up some property uh, explicitly uh, for uh, BIPOC communities. So, you know, we reached out, you know, open heart and open mind. Uh, what we learned is that the church had been uh, using this space as a parking lot for several years, but their congregation size has shrunk over the last couple. And as a result, they were just sitting on this half an acre plot on the corner of Brook and Walton. So um, once we started talking to them, we found out that they really, really, really were interested in uh, working toward reparative justice uh, as an act of uh, solidarity with uh, black and brown communities. And they understood that land is a really important commodity towards the end. Uh, so we entered into an agreement with uh, Kenna Park Presbyterian to uh, lease this space for 10 years um, at a dollar a year. And um, that type of land tenure uh, for us is very, very critical, um, especially when we're developing you know, gardens and things like that. Having to build soil takes time and trees and other types of perennial things, we wanna see it really manifest. Um, so uh, we started uh, on the development of the space in April of 2021. And uh, for the last six to eight months, we've been uh, installing 
rows, raised beds, put a shed out there. Uh, just really try to make the space as uh, full and uh, uh, ready for you know this 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 uh, uh, this uh, community of folks that are coming in to participate. So we didn't need another production space. You know, we we farm across the city. You know, it's a bunch of work along with that. You know, but what we realized is that there was an absence of uh, space explicitly for young people to learn how to farm, how to garden, and do that in the context of social entrepreneurship, as well as recognizing the need for safe spaces for uh, for, for for young folks. So we decided that we would we would we would be we would fill that gap. Um, and so uh, what you see now is the result of a couple months of us planning and brainstorming and, and, and pulling together the resources uh, for the implementation of a youth led farm space in the city of Richmond. So uh, what we're uh, excited about is that we'll hold, we're really here to hold space for young people to uh, envision, dream, and implement uh, food justice uh, through this half an acre space. Um, and, and, and it's, and it's, a, it's a really unique opportunity for us because we've, we've acquired some funding to support uh, the young folks in doing that. Um, but I'm gonna pause there and uh, you know, I wanna talk a little bit about the logistics, but I, want, I don't wanna be the only one talking. So uh, I'm gonna pass it to Karantama or Luz to talk a little bit about uh, what the program will entail. And I guess we can also talk a little bit about some of the logistics of how the uh, weeks will go uh, for the first cohort. Luce, go right ahead. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so uh, like Deron was saying, we're trying to get a lot of um, just like involvement with not only youth in the community, but I think uh, with lots of different people in the community. Um, we have some plans for introducing, uh, um, what's the word? Uh, <laughs> collaborators. Collaborators, oh, yeah, collaborators. collaborators uh, into the space of, of, you know, different ages and different, um, backgrounds to to help kind of foster just this idea that um we're a community in richmond we have a bunch of different people offering different things and you know farming doesn't just it doesn't just stop at the food it, it, it it's all encompassing to a lot of different parts of our uh our culture our you know history and and future um I am, in, in terms of my collaboration to the space, I want to kind of teach some um, topics pertaining to art and communication and how you can use those things uh, in a business setting, in a farm setting to kind of communicate your ideas and um, just make things look really nice so that people want to come and take part in what you're you're growing and selling and um and i i think communication therein is, is also really important to get people to understand what you're trying to to do um so then i'll pass it over to karantama for for her piece um so there's some some core elements of the program. Like Duran said, we definitely want your vision. We want to hear um, what you see with this program. And that'll be around these four pillars, if you will. One would be um, stewardship. So you're learning how to work the land, how to grow different items, um, different produce, matching that up with the time of year that we're in. A second one would be self-care. Um, learning what it is to not just be one with the earth, but one with yourself and doing that in community, you know. 
Um, a third one would be entrepreneurship, looking at the process of not only growing your own food, but then selling mm -hmm. in your community and beyond and all of the elements that are associated with that in terms of understanding how cost looks, um, looking at what retention can look like um, and all the other legs that are a part of that. And then lastly, the other one um, is training for stewardship beyond the Brook Road Youth uh, Cohort because our vision is it's not linear, you know, we see this expanding in all kinds of directions. So perhaps you could with our next cohort become an apprentice or an assistant, or if the interest is there, um, maybe even working your own land because we've got opportunities um, that are constantly coming up that allow us to continue to push you forward, to support you with bringing your visions to what this can look like. Yeah, so we really value um, not just working with you, but bridging with you. Yeah. yeah. Um, so our 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 uh, program uh, does have some time commitments that we're asking uh, uh, program participants to commit to. Uh, we'll meet twice a week. Um, uh, we we've, we've uh, set those days as Wednesdays and was it Sundays Saturdays. or Saturday Saturdays Saturdays. Saturday. Uh, uh, both of those uh, the 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 Wednesday nights uh, at this moment um, we we originally have been planning for them to take place virtually, um, you know, but as things evolve with COVID, you know, we're going to be nimble and uh, uh, cognizant that there may be opportunities for us to meet up in person that also might uh, ar arise and open up um, over the season. Uh, but Wednesday nights and then uh, Saturday uh, mornings. Um, the Saturdays will be hands-on days. Um, I, we recognize it's imperative for folks to be able to get together, commune, but then, uh, touch uh, the ground with uh, all of the uh, uh, kinesthetic learning and fine manipulation that comes along with this gardening, farming work. You got to put your hands on it. So our weekly uh, get together will be at the Brook Road U Farm. Right, uh, we're in the process of growing seedlings, and we have tons of seeds, tools, everything that folks uh, participating in the program will need for implementation on Saturdays and each week will build build cumulatively across the season where you'll have an opportunity to go from seed to harvest um, in, in the program. Um, on top of that uh, or, or in tandem with that, we're also committing to uh, issuing stipends to young folks for participation in a program. Um, we've set the stipend at about $50 uh, a week. So uh, not only will you be, you know, learning uh, these different principles from mindfulness to urban farming to uh, entrepreneurship, but you'll also be getting uh, invested in, in terms of your time as well. Uh, the third part of this, and this is critical, uh, we aspire for you all to sell produce and you know the produce that you grow or the flowers or whatever it is that you develop in the space that you'll be able to sell that uh, through the different channels that we operate through as an organization and as things grow and get sold there's additional uh compensation you know this will be the funds from your program that'll be dispersed back into your cooperative collective cohort right so you'll be splitting the money uh, amongst each other for the for the for the time and energy that you've invested over the season, um, so that's that that's that's I think that's a really important part for us, you know, to relay is that this program can go as wide and as deep as the folks within it uh, envision and can dream. We're here to hold space and evolve and and evolve with you and walk with you in that process, uh, but sky's the limit. And what you can see happening 
you know, we're here to help facilitate it happening <laughs> from everything. If you wanted to make barbecue sauce or pasta sauces or what have you, um, you want to make some seasoning packs, you know, you want to sell bouquets of flowers, whatever it is, we're here to walk with you in that and, and help you make that a reality. Um, Luce, can you share with uh, folks how they can apply uh, uh, and, 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 uh, and what that process looks like? Or, uh, yeah. or, or can we share that link? For sure. Um, so I can put that in the chat in a little bit, but uh, basically I just have, um, it's a jot form. I, I will be, um, yeah, I'll, I'll post it in the chat, but uh, you just have to fill out the, there's like some, like basic medical information, like what you're allergic to and if you have any inhalers and stuff like that. Uh, we do require that if you're under 18 to have a parent or guardian sign. Um, uh, if that's Aquila from the first meeting, is that Aquila from the first meeting? Uh, I know I, you, someone signed up with that name and I didn't get their parent signature version but did she say, i think it is she said yes yeah. okay cool yeah so you you had sent you had sent the thing you were actually the first person to send a a job form but i i need a parent signature if you're under 18 i'll send it to you again um but yeah let me let me get to doing that and it's a very simple um little form yeah we just want to know a little bit more about you Mm -hmm. uh, or uh, it, it, when you apply and fill out the form, it's a, give us a little bit more background information on you as well as the permissions and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and once we have that, you know, the slots will fill up fast. So, you know, we're only, we're, I think we're capping the cohort off at 15, 16. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no more than 16 people. And so, you know, if you are interested in the program, please, uh, apply there'll be a link in the chat and then um once this uh once we finish recording this we're going to repost this video for the next couple of weeks um we're anticipating the program starting in april and so you know we really wanted to try to get everybody in the, in, in uh locked and loaded uh, by the first week of spring uh which is technically march 21st the first week of spring so we got about two more weeks uh before we just roll with who we got so if you know folks that are interested in participating please share uh uh the the the, the links with them um and then if you're watching this video after we recorded it please share the video with them so that folks can know more about what they're um anticipating and participate participating in uh, before they apply we think it's really important for folks to get an orientation uh, to what the program is about before they submit an application so they know what we're uh, coming to the table with and you know at least uh, we have we have a clear understanding of what our scope of work is um so yeah uh I think that's pretty much it um I guess uh are, are there any questions feedback any thoughts um that folks might have that's on the call now or anything Karantama loose that we didn't cover that you want to make sure we get on the record tonight? Uh, yeah, one thing comes up, uh, collaborators. We spoke to collaborators, but just to elaborate a little bit, when we say they're collaborators who will also be working with us, that's typically adults um, in the community who have some kind of skill set that they'll be imparting, they'll be teaching it to you. For instance, to Duran's point about um, making a profit, one of our collaborators um, can infuse flowers, which could transition into like an oil. Mm -hmm. So imagine if you sold the oil, you know, just to kind of plant a seed, there are all kinds of ways that you can make this commerce happen for yourself, mm -hmm. but just again to shine in what collaborated, what we mean by that. And we will, we are welcoming additional partners, folks that find interest in like supporting young people in this urban ag space. Um, you know, just send us, be, feel free to send us any one of us a message and we'll be happy to kind of navigate that dialogue about how 
we all can partner up and uh, and share space and and and, and iterating uh, this particular work. Mm -hmm. Luce, you have anything that uh, you wanted to share before uh, we close out, or, or take any more questions, any questions or feedback from those in the team? Oh yeah, I don't I don't think I had anything else to add. Um, yeah, if anybody has questions. Um, sometimes, you know, you think of a question and, uh, it doesn't, it's like way after the, the point you can also email, I'll put my email in the chat too. I've been answering people's questions, but you can email any of us. Um, uh, okay. um, and so lastly, uh, while our focus will be on the Brook Road space, we may have an opportunity for us to move around into different locations as well. So, you know, we have spaces in Highland Park and Southside, as well as Northside. So, you know, there will be there may be some opportunities for us to showcase some of the other things that we got going on. Uh, but we're also cognizant that transportation is a reality that everybody doesn't have access to. So. We're gonna to try to keep things con concentrated um, at the Brook Road space. And no fear if there's if there's rain, we do have shelter. The Ginner uh, Park Presbyterian Church that Duran spoke to was just not even a block down the street. So we'll mm -hmm. be in there working in uh, one of the rooms whenever the weather is, you know, really rainy or cold, too cold. Well, thank you, everyone. Yeah, thanks, everyone. Yeah, so thanks for tuning in. And uh, make sure you uh, be on the lookout and share, share, share this video to all of your friends and uh, uh, colleagues throughout your network so that we can make sure that as many people are aware of the opportunity to participate as possible. That's uh, one of our aspirations is that nobody has uh, missed out uh, on, on on connecting with this, uh, and then we're really excited being one of our uh, flagship programs uh, going forward, and really uh, helping to meet uh, young people in their aspirations for food justice. Uh, actually, I have one more question for you, Duran. Um, where where are we going to post this? Is this going to be on Facebook? On this is going to be on uh, Instagram, Facebook. Um, and it's going to also, I'm going to also put it post on the, on, on the Happily National Day website. Cool. And I'll also send it into the email list too. Cool. All right, y'all. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And we look forward to seeing you in the field. Yeah. Looking forward to growing with you. Yeah. Thanks for coming out, everyone.